Hey tasters! When experienced wine drinkers taste wine, they often refer to its tannins. But what are wine tannins? Tannins are part of the defense mechanism of many plants, including grapes. They are transported to the wine through the pomace, that is, the seeds, the peel and the stems of the grapes. That's why we mainly find tannins in red wines, which have extended contact with the pomace during winemaking. Tannins are of interest to us for two reasons. First of all, tannins are an important structural element of wine. Without tannins, aging wine would not be possible. It's the tannins that protect wine from spoilage. As a tannic wine ages, the tannins bind with the tiny amounts of oxygen that permeate the cork. This protects the aromas of wine from oxidation. It is precisely for these antioxidant properties of tannins that red wine is considered so beneficial to human health. In other words, tannins protect human beings from spoilage too. The combination of tannins with oxygen also creates new polymers that are noticeably less astringent. So a tannic varietal such as this Cabernet Sauvignon may taste a little bit wild in their youth but will develop a smooth velvety character as it ages. And this is because the tannins will gradually bind with oxygen. This is what uh, wine lovers mean when they say that an aged wine has softened. The second characteristic of tannins that any wine lover will be aware of is that they readily bind with any protein. Because human saliva contains protein, when we drink a tannic red wine, we instantly get a sensation of dryness. The tannins in the wine bind with the proteins in our saliva and dry out our mouth. And that's why a red wine pairs so perfectly with red meats and rich cheeses. Think of it a little bit as a ritual offering to the tannins in our wine. Think of it a little bit as trying to appease the gods of tannins by offering them exogenous proteins to bind with instead of our own. Although we often describe tannins as bitter, we actually don't sense tannins with our sense of taste, but with our sense of touch. What seems to us a bitter taste is precisely this sense of astringency. This ranges from a mild dryness, the kind of dryness we feel when we bite into a, a fluffy peach, all the way to the kind of dry sensation one would get if we dabbed our tongue with cotton wool. Because tannins also dry out the mouth, tannic wines love to be paired with fat. The wine cuts through the fattiness of food and the fat lubricates our tannin-dried tongues. It is an addictively harmonious interchange. Take this delectable Cabernet Sauvignon, for instance. It is a paragon of tannic integrity. And upon first sip, we might miss the luscious red fruit and the intriguing notes of green pepper and capers. Like any anti-hero, Red Butler, Jay Gatsby, and any character played by Humphrey Bogart. A tannic red wine needs just two things from you. A little breathing space and 
a good steak topped with garlic butter. In the name of scientific inquiry tasters, have some steak and red wine tonight and come back to leave a comment and let me know how much you love it. Cheers. I'll see you in the next video.